Good morning. I'm going to introduce everybody to the game World of Tanks, which is a tank simulator based in the World War II era that pits 15 tanks versus 15 tanks. First, we're going to witness a live match that I fought in an M60, which is a Tier 10 American medium tank. Familiarizing yourself with the screen, you'll notice a service bar at the bottom. That gives you the different types of ammunition that you have the ability to load, as well as repair kits, fire extinguishers, and medical kits. I'm going to bring your attention to the tank status area of your screen, which tells you if you have any damaged areas of your tank. The lower right hand corner of your screen is your menu. The area is quite important as it relays the location of all of your friendly tanks on the map, as well as enemy tanks that have been spotted. The upper left and upper right hand part of your screen tells you your team and the enemy team. Tanks that are highlighted are still alive. Tanks that go dim are not. The center part of your screen is your reticle. That tells you which way your cannon is aimed. That also tells you your reload time and distance to target. Once that's complete, I'm heading into base. I'd like to talk to you about strategy when playing World of Tanks. You want to pay particular attention to not exposing your flank and the flank of your teammates. When aiming, it's always your best chance of doing the highest damage when you're able to shoot the rear or side of a turret. Most of the time, however, you'll be firing at the front of a tank, so aim for either the lower glacius plate or the commander hatch. I'm taking my tank to the peninsula area to wipe out any potential enemies that may be able to flank my teammates that are coming around the bottom of the peninsula. Once I've established that there are no do harm, I know that there are two tanks at base and the, the Pershing that shot at me is not a factor right now. There are two excellent tanks still in the game, the AMX-50B and the T-57 Heavy. So I'm going to take aim and try to help wipe those tanks out first. If you'd like to learn more about all of the tanks and their strengths and weaknesses, check out wiki.worldoftanks.com for amazingly detailed information like armor thicknesses for certain areas of a tank. Never missing an opportunity, I take a pot shot at the tank that's still parked at base. However, it seems that he's not in the game, so I'm going to focus my attention on destroying the Persian. Notice here that the target highlights red when you're aimed at a hittable part of the tank. After you hit the enemy tank, you want to back up so that you are not exposing your tank to their cannon. Once that's done, and there are no enemy tanks around, I position my tank to guard my flank and leave the heaviest armored part of my tank towards the front in capturing their base. You can either play in random battles or join a clan to fight in the clan wars on the global map. Like these recruiting posters here, clans actively recruit new members. Unfortunately, my beard was not quite beard enough to join the clan. The real appeal of this game is in its historical accuracy. In not just the design, but the application and use of the tanks, which has been paramount to its global success of having over 40 million registered members worldwide. Finally, if you're interested in learning more about World of Tanks, the website is noted on the screen. It is a free-to-play game, although there are some perks if you want to become a paying member.